welcome back to round three of the Lower Peninsula Open. I'm Noah sitting here with Chili to bring you some uh, more Nate Davis disc golf coverage. Uh, looks like today we're going to be strictly on the monster. Um, yeah, a couple a uh, couple holes taken out. We're going to be playing all the extras though, and they are uh, they are some tough ones. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at our leaderboard here. Got, uh, yeah, we got Ray, Raven Newsome Newsom here. He's he's leading it. Uh, we'll tie it up with Jeff, and uh, you know they'll be battling throughout this round. And then you got Sam right there, hot on their tail, and two more tough tough competitors right behind them. Uh, just a stroke back with Andrew and Ryan. Yeah, and then um, you know rest of our top ten rounding it off. Uh, Schultz, Bernat, Kaluski, Gill, and Stoll. Uh, so here's our card here. Uh, Raven representing Team MVP. 1019 rated. Yeah. Jeff Bennett, uh, he's actually, like I mentioned, seven time uh, state champ. You know, he's a good, good player. Uh, Sam McGill, 977 rated out of Grand Rapids. Look at the smile on that guy's face. And Andrew Marweed, he is a he is a challenger. I mean, that guy is just a good player. Oh, yeah. I always yeah. seeing him at the top. And the touring level player, as well as Raven. All right. So here we are on to uh, hole three on the monster. 410 footer uh playing to the champ basket here it is a you know a big old forehand and then really your only landing zone is here here by the short basket and then into this little alleyway yeah just hoping for a putt right right uh yeah no it's a tough one and uh yeah i'm looking at our scoring average here and uh we averaged over par for uh the final round here yeah because of the distance you're going for you, you this out the gate here is kind of pinched you got to watch your your take off yeah you got a little nick yeah raven is uh dressed like a raven out there got the ninja wear on all black i like it yeah, yeah. jeff getting a good one down there <laughs> looks like it's sam next up on the tee yeah i think these guys have to deal with a lot of bad weather this round yeah the, the rain the rain is gonna come it's windy on and off, I believe, during the round. And then, yeah, Omar, he's probably looking to make a charge here. Yeah, and marked it. it. Yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, that's really all you can do on this hole, though. Yeah, it's a good placement. You got to, I guess, in that point, at that point, you got to just hope it doesn't land too close to the basket. So, and that's not in play. Good upshot. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like I've said before, I'm not a big fan of these champ baskets, but you know, we got some real contenders out here, so they uh, they can, they can handle these champ baskets. Yeah. Well, I was look I looked it up, and Andrew and Jeff are both premier pros. I didn't even know there was a, a whole other level uh, as far as indoor uh, acknowledgement, but there's there, there's a whole bunch of go check it out. It's pretty cool. All right. I'm PDJ. Yeah, it's nice to get that acknowledgement in there. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of different options of, to qualify you for it. And oh, cool. It's listed by PDJ number. It's pretty pretty sweet. Cool. I'm going to have to go check that out. Yeah. Looks like everybody's going to pretty much routine pars here. Yeah, they're going to be dealing with some rain here. That's when you need your mitten bag, right? Right. I got a cool 24 chains one. It's a pirate. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Raven is out there looking like a ninja. Uh, unfortunate bogey there for him, though. It's fitting that it's black, you know. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Okay, so coming into hole four here. Uh, it's a nice little, nice little tight shot. Great hyzer play. Uh, you pretty much want to throw it up into this hill, or uh, just barely fly it around the corner and give yourself a birdie putt. Looks pretty simple. Looks pretty simple. <laughs> Come on, uh, with confidence, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it gets tight though this time of year. Look how open that is. Look at that it's wide <laughs> open. You could drive a Mack truck through there. Yeah, Bennett got eaten up. He's probably not going to have very good footing, but uh, shouldn't be too hard to get up and down from there. 
Yeah, the keys will stay a little high on that, you know, like that. There you go. Yeah, and that should be a park job. Oh yeah, sounds like the rain's picking up on them. Oh yeah, Margaret hugs it tight. If he gets by this last, ah. Uh, yeah, that's a little too tight. That looked like a good line off the, off the tee though. Raven sending, looks like a stable mid-range. Oh, good bounce. Yeah, it didn't look like he was going to get through there, but should have a clean look at the basket. Yeah, that's kind of a death putt for a righty there. Yeah, Jeff just playing it smart. Yeah, got, got a nice little roll back there. Yeah. Oh, oh nice bid. Looks like he's got a good look, otherwise he'd be doing more straddling or something. Yeah, Ooh. oh, right off the face. Oh, oh man. man. Made somebody's putt a little bit more difficult there. <laughs> Made Jeff's easier with everybody missing those, I'm sure. He's <laughs> like, all right, I just got to get this three. Didn't lose, <laughs> didn't lose much. It's funny how the mentality plays back and forth like that at the, you know, when you're when you're on that leader card, you know. Oh. It's almost like a chess match in a way. All right, you know, little routine, you know, group of pars there. All right, and on to hole five. It is uh, straight away, 230, uh, slightly uphill. One thing that gets me on this hole is... Uh, the T pad is is slanted uphill. It makes for uh, makes for a tricky run up. I really wish they would fix that. Yeah, it, you have to adjust to it. It's yeah. I just go with a little bit shorter run up. Looks like that's what Jeff's doing too. Because the back of the pad is a lot lower than the front. Yes. Ooh, oh, like some tree love. Yeah, beneficial bounce. Or would that be a beneficial? <laughs> I like it. too much Oof. might have got clipped or something to keep it turned yeah there wasn't there's was no fade back on that probably sending a putter down oh and marwe puts a good run on it yeah oh hits, hits the, the flag. ctp flag there might be a new ctp you know get the follow flight beautiful shot well done oh well, yeah they're probably gonna have to measure that one i think that's how you draw it up you know you, you want it to go in, but you're not really trying to throw it in. That easy putt always makes it, you know, when you can just walk up, drop it in, man, golf is easy. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah, great yeah, he wanted that one. He thought he had it. It was a great bid. Yeah, nice try. Mm, so yeah, high a little bit, but it shouldn't be too difficult of a comeback. Yeah, he must have been blocked off from over there. Nice putt, Jeff. Yeah, nice birdie for Bennett. <clears throat> Smeagol little test tester here. There you oh, go. Nice par save. You know, considering the position he was in and looked like he was forced just to play it out as far as he could. Yeah, you know, these guys really probably want to deuces on this. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's tough to settle for the par. Yeah, they don't get too much easier on this hole there. Well, he's checking. I guess that is the MPO yeah. CTP. It's not normally very many for, for pro players. Um, Buy into the 50-50, right? Looks like you got it. Oh, I just missed it by a touch. Yeah, he's picking it up. That's all right. I'm oh, sure man. he's taking plenty of CTPs in this day. Is it kosher to walk your own? I thought somebody else was supposed to do it. Well, if you're not going to call it, you know what I mean? If you're not taking it, 
Yes, yeah, it's but, just uh, etiquette, and it was on film. So right. good uh-huh. job, Andrew. Yeah. He walked it off legit, man. Right. Legitly. So, yeah, hole six there. You know, just uh, shortest hole, shortest hole on the layout here. It's straight ahead, but you know, lots of stuff in your way. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty much shot, shooting for the birdie here. Yeah, and uh, I suppose there was one ace on this for the round. There? That was one yeah, and that was uh, my old uh, high school classmate Brendan Livingston tagged this one. So congrats, Brendan. Oh, yeah, that is a tough bounce there. It gets wretched over there. Oh, here you go. That'll be a nice round. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, set up for the birdie. Yeah, I doubt we're even going to be able to see Marweed throwing this one out next. Raven's got a stable mid range. Yeah, so I didn't see a gyro on there, so that must be something streamlined. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure what it was. Could be a prison pyro, though. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you could be right. Uh, it looks like Marweed wasn't able to get all the way out. Nice. Oh, and a big birdie putt from Raven there from the thick stuff. And it looks like Marvin did get out enough. He's at least got a chance to save par. It's a big putt. Oh nice yeah. Putt. You well know, done. you don't you don't get to be ten thirty rated without having some skills. Yeah, they make those putts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Jeff. Yeah. Now he's back on track. Uh, extends his uh, lead to two strokes. Mm. Oh. Sam comes up just shy on his deuce putt. Came out of his hand. Probably slipped with the rain. That's the worst feeling in the world when you let it go and you know yeah, it's not yeah. going in. It's already out of your hand on the swing. That was a great Oof. putt. Yeah, it was. A couple of nice putts on that hole. All right, that takes us in a hole seven here. That's a this is a rough this is a rough hole off the tee. You really got to make this gap, and some players go up and high out outside. It's not a bad play; can put you in this position, landed in the basically the sunshine area here. But you can fly this gap and get up get up there. The real long throwers I've seen them get up here and give themselves a putt. So. Yeah. Yeah, and that basket is right on the top of the hill, so anything like putting up at it is a dangerous putt. I actually made a 45-footer for to save par on this hole. Nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, Bennett does not look like he got through. Yeah, it's easy to get caught up right yeah, there on the left. Catch cam wasn't even able to follow that. Raven, if he gets it around that, uh, looks like he clipped it. Yeah, I got slowed down off of that. It's it, yeah, it's really you know, it looks like a pretty big opening, but it's it's the angle that you really got to hit just right. Oh, Marwin just like that, just snuck it through the inside route's a little bit, or the outside route there inside that that gap's pretty tough. Just, just slipped out of his hand. Definitely, definitely was slipped from the rain there. Yeah, he might be having some grip issues. Oh it looks yeah, like he did about all he could with it. Yeah. You know, a lot of players, instead of like a birdie bag or something, they use dirt from the ground. And right now, this this point in time, he can't. Yeah. Yeah, that's straight mud. Yeah, that doesn't help. Yeah, just the easy forehand Great up, up the shot. Hill. Yeah. Yeah, and Sam got out of that pretty good. Yeah, he's just trying to turn in the bleeding here. He's a little blocked by that bush, I guess. This is a tough putt. You've got a death putt coming here. Yeah, for bogey too, you gotta run it. 
Yeah, oh. nerves are up. Oh, no. And he gets the tournament roll away. Mm. Brutal. Oh, man, you really hate to see that. Alex yeah. is going to curl behind that. All right, at least it's set there. He's still looking at the basket. It's hard when, when things just, just aren't going your way. Gets it back up there. Just looking at a tap in triple though. Yeah, this basket's in a precarious spot um, because yeah. that hill, I've seen some rollaways. Yeah, you don't want to, it's, it's so hard. If you're up above it, it that, that's a tough putt because it's nothing but trouble behind it. Andrew's Andrew's a good putter in that you know within that range it's not so bad but where those other other guys are that's you're really putting yourself in a rough spot having to go for that. And yeah, he's got to shake that one off. Still a lot of golf left here. Yeah. Little knee puck bogey for Bennett. Is he, yeah. Little interesting move taking. Paying homage to the basket there. <laughs> On the hole eight, and uh, this one is a doozy playing to the uh, playing to the champ basket here. Um, as you can see, it does not go very straight. Yeah, this is our short basket here. The short one's not too tough, but then uh, yeah, the champ one. So now, really, what you want to do is you want to be way out here to the right. And come in here to this tiny little, tiny little alleyway. Yeah, this that, flyby doesn't show where a lot of players are going to play out by the yeah. porta potty area, and then, or uh, yeah, and then the, play the up into this. Yeah, yeah. outhouses. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's 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 a great shot, you know, off the tee, but it's you can see it's pinched off quite a bit. So also I'll say those are pretty uh, clean for an outhouse. Yeah, yeah, the park does a good job taking care of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, well played. I, I actually don't. I'd rather be over by the regular basket, more straight on it, on this hole myself. Yeah, you know these champs are tough. Uh, like I've said before, I'm just not a big fan. I feel like they are like they were either kind of an afterthought being installed, or you know they're just they're kind of I don't know. They're they a just, little pinched off yeah. since when they were originally designed. But yeah, yes. I understand. And it's really that a lot of people don't play to them. You know, you get more discs flying through there. It opens yeah. up the lanes a little bit. And... Well, you used to be able to play more of a thumber route from over by the bathrooms and uh, or a tomahawk, whatever. Trees are getting taller. Things are growing in. Right. Yeah, it is, an, it, it is an old course. It's been there for, you know, a couple decades. Oh, it makes a run at the short basket. No, he wasn't... He was just trying to hit that galley where that's he'll get it going here. All right. Wow, yeah. oh, that looked like a good line, but let it go a little wide. Yeah. Jeff sends one down there. Did you get the yep. slide? <clears throat> yeah, looks like yeah, he's got a putt. Yeah, see, he's kind of pinched off because you can't. They used to go, you used to be able to go over the trees and in, but it's closed up. Oh, hey, Raven got down onto the putting green. Yeah, he's inside the circle. Oh, it looks like a little tree love there. Yeah, beneficial bounce into the gap. Yeah, hard to see exactly how far away that one landed, but I think he's going to like it. Good play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, Marley parks it, and I got Sam here. Doesn't look too far. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's he how needed. you. That's how you erase that triple on that last hole, Sam. Yeah, he, need, he needed that putt. Oh, right. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, we haven't seen too much of that today. We got a slippery rim, so he didn't get that forward play. I got uh, birdie three for Raven. You gotta love that. That's some strokes on the fields. Uh, yeah, this one averaged over par here. So for a par four, it averaged a four one six. So yeah, that's that's it's a tough hole. It's definitely playing playing hard. All right, you always love to hear some guys there laughing. Oh, people having fun. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's a tough hole, but you know, our guys got through it pretty uh, pretty good here. Yeah, yeah. Sam getting that big, big uh, save yeah. putt there. All right, so that takes us into hole nine. Uh, 410 from the long position. Uh, it's a great shot. The tree comes into play on the left. The bushes, you got to fly, you know, miss those. A lot of righties like to play it out wide, highs are into this area, um, or there's the straight flex shot. Um, can be challenging if that wind's up. You can see it's whipping in this uh, in this flyby. Yeah, you know, if these guys are going to want to put it down there, though. Yeah. And he's raving on the tee. Looks like his tee pads might be drying out a little bit. Seeing some more of these long walk-ups. Oh yeah, looks like he left it yeah. a little bit short, but. I think he's real happy with that. Yeah, nice little fly back there. Oh yeah, absolute park job. Alex, he turned it over a little too much. Hopefully, you get a cut roll back up, but no such luck. Oh, he got a hold of that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I might get that tree, though. Yeah, hard to see where he landed there. He might have been going for that outside route. Sam's going lefty. Yeah, that's real interesting. Mm. Yeah, and turned it over a bit too much. Didn't get the fade he was looking for, probably. Yeah, it's 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 uh, tough tough either direction. Oh, you want to throw it far, but makes a beautiful forehand stretch run. Yeah, that was a nice up shot. Yeah, you want to throw it far down there, but it's a it's a flex shot, and you're putting yourself in jeopardy either direction. Nice out there. There's a good putt. Yeah. Now he's now he's back on track. Yeah, he shrugged off that triple buggy pretty well. Yeah. Jeff getting his par. Yeah, a couple of. A couple of those big miss putts for Sam, and it could have, uh, you know, it could have been a snowball effect there. But he shrugged it off well. Yeah, that's tough to come back from. There was an upside down putt. Yeah, and yeah, nice birdie there from Raven to uh, take the lead. All right, so that brings us into hole ten here, uh, three fifty five. Uh, just a long hyzer shot for a righty. You want to play it into that, into where the these cedar trees are up here, obviously around the outside, uh, crashing in, getting your birdie. That's the, that's what you're looking for. Yeah, you know, um, if you hit that long that long stuff off the edge of the fairway, you're not going to get the skip up under the basket you're looking for. So, yeah, you want more of a spike, I think, flying right. it in. That way, you don't take too big of a hop, fly over the long grass. Yeah, Raven's got a good shot on it. Oh, yeah. And a little tree love. A little curl around the pen. I love that. Yeah, Raven's charging right now. This is fun to watch. Andrew following it with another good shot. No, it doesn't get the same uh, same same love that uh, Raven got, but yeah, you got he's putting. Now. Got a little fly through instead of the bank shot. Might be a little wide. Let's see if it gets back. Oh, yeah, it's cruised mm -hmm. in there. All right, this guy's making this one look easy so far. Mm -hmm. Just throwing across the field, right? Mm hmm. Oh. Looks, Looks like, like it's going to hook up. Yeah, you get pulled a little wide off the tee. Oh, yeah, there's bad landings on there. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a challenging putt. He'll have a look at it, though. I wonder if Raven called his bank shot there. That was a great shot. Yeah, yeah and, you know, this hole is tough if you're not under those trees. It's it's tough to get the deuce if you don't end up under there. Yeah, you, Andrew just putted a little low. I think it's pretty clear from that angle. 
Myron Jeff picks it up. That's good job, Jeff. Tap in from our week. All right, Sam saves the par. And easy upside down deuce for Raven. Yeah, just leaning over and setting it in. Mm -hmm. It's always a nice feeling. Oh yeah, that one was worth a replay. All right, on to hole 11, 380 footer. Uh, you gotta keep this one low. Um, so these two pines here. Uh, there is a little room if you hang it out too right, but uh, you know you don't want to. You don't want to try to flirt with that. Just want to keep it low, straight ahead. Uh, you know, get the forehand skip up at the basket. <clears throat> I imagine we're going to be seeing some forehands here. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it, that's what you need to do. A little little hop at the end because you got to keep it low on this hole. It really looks like he's getting a nice turnover on this. Uh, yeah, just didn't get the slide. It landed a little too early. Is he going around the outside? Yeah, it looks like he got eaten up. Sometimes it's interesting. Jeff will take a different line. So I don't know if that's what he was going for. Oh, yeah, this one looks good. Ah, yeah. That's tough. Let's see if Sam can get up there. He could really use a bird. Yeah, I'm surprised to see him not going lefty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonder Let's... which is uh, his preferred. If it, it seems like right, he's playing predominantly right. I think. And Jeff over by the other uh, tee pad. Oh, it looks like it got his gun there. Yeah. You ever throw with your opposite hand? Uh, when I tore my AC a few years ago, I went out and played a couple rounds, and it was just trash. Yeah. Hand drew just a bit long there. Yeah, that's normally what happens with players. They throw opposite hand when they're hurt. You know, yeah, and then they figure out, they're like, oh, hey, I can do this. <laughs> yeah. That was not the case for me. <laughs> I say if you can swing a bat... You know, your your dominant hand you can throw opposite hand. Um yeah, so I could bet switch back in, you know, my my baseball days, but yeah. that's that's not the same as, you know, getting real distance on a disc. All all routine pars on this hole looks like. Or well no, I take that back. Sam was he's putting for bogey here, yeah. isn't he? So, well, Raven and Bennett here are uh, pulling ahead a little bit. Marby, though, he's still in this. Yeah. Oh, Raven. Raven just took the lead with that. All right, that brings us to the end of uh, front nine here, final round of the OPO. <clears throat> So yeah, we saw some exciting golf there. Uh, yeah, Raven, uh, you know, took the lead from Jeff. Uh, Jeff, you know, only one stroke back though. And uh, a Hersog on a chase card. Uh, you know, he's right up there with those guys. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, yeah, don't, um, you know, Marvin got a few strokes on fifth place, but uh, don't count out guys like uh, like Bart. Uh, you know, yeah. he's a real he's a real shooter there, so he could easily close the gap yeah, on these guys. Up, and, um, moving up the ladder there. Yeah, and then shout out to my boy Cav down there, tied for eighth. At, you know, neck ten for the event. Yeah, he's still hanging in there. Oh yeah. All right, guys, that's the end of our uh, coverage here for the uh, front nine. We'll be back. Uh, Chili, you want to add anything, buddy? Yeah, sub subscribe, like, and share. Yeah, hey, and uh, in the meantime, get out and thrill because you never know where your next thrill may take you.